What's up guys, it is JTB here. Not only am I back with Madden content after a lot of time off, but I'm coming back with a bang. Not only is it a fantasy draft, not only am I playing with one minute quarters, but I'm doing all this with the rosters from Madden 2005. Obviously there's gonna be some players that don't, aren't even in the game anymore, they're gonna be there. There's also players, I think very, very few though, that are st actually still in the game. And it's going to be simple enough. Each episode, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an intro about the game about to happen. Show you, you guys are going to see the entire gameplay. And then afterwards, we'll go ahead and talk about the game, how it all went. So that's how this episode is going to go. That's how all the episodes are going to go. Our ultimate goal, one season, get there, and then obviously win it all. Win the Super Bowl. But with that being said, let's get into the video. What's up guys, it is JTB here, and welcome to, if you watched the last episode, it's going to feel like a Deja Vu episode, because the similarities between last game and this game are honestly quite creepy. So we're facing off against the New York Giants, and if you watched the last episode, you'll know what's going to happen in this upcoming gameplay. If you didn't, hey, you know what happened in the last episode. Here's some gameplay. NFL on EA Sports. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6-5. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, so, not, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Simply not much more you can ask out of your running back. Over 100 yards and the three touchdowns. And for an old coot like me, I loved it because he did it on the ground. A running back taking control of the game. And that's what I like to see. Hold on, hold on. an old coot? Coot, C-O-O-T. All right, I'll look that up later. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Throwing his Manning on third down. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. We're scoreless after one. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Nice move by Lewis. Going to be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. In his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. And a big throw here, that's complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Looking to throw again on second down. Vic, no gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. And this one incomplete. A 50-50 ball in the end, nearly intercepted. And now it's third down. And the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and 10. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Being chased out left. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense. 
as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Vic now. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 38. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. So after the INT, it's Manning. He will find Winslow. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. After a rare scoreless first half, these teams now just looking for something as the second half gets underway. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 43. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's a play fake. Now Vic. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So, C.D., you talk about this football team and some of the whispers and reports, the social media posts, they hint at a locker room that's splintered, badly splintered. There was talk earlier, some guys might walk away entirely, but that hasn't happened, however, at least to this point. No, and sometimes some of that talk is just that, talk. I mean, guys often say, that's it, I'm out of here, and then they realize, I'm not ready to retire yet. What am I going to do now? And they're really ready to come back and dive back in. In fact, we've got guys who are wearing gold jackets in the Hall of Fame that talked about retirement the last six, seven years of their career. So that's not always real. And sometimes you just have to go ahead and ride it out. And this is an opportunity now for everyone in this locker room to move forward. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late, and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And Williams gonna sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Giants now down by a field goal, 55 seconds remaining. They need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. To throw is Manning. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Back to throw. Manning. Jackson with a catch. And he will get a good amount of yardage back on second down, but the clock still runs. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Now Manning. 
He'll drop this down to Jackson. And he'll be brought down. Still a yard or two short even of the first down. So things looking bleak here. They've got to convert on Ford. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Vic. Dancing to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. So, just like last episode, not much happened except for a late fourth quarter field goal to give us another 3-0 victory. And we face off again next episode against another New York team. This time against the New York Jets. They are a pretty good team, but... Overall record is not very good. I mean, they're a very good all-around team, so it should be interesting. And, and that episode will be coming out tomorrow, same time as this one did. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new, and it is JTB signing off.